Hey there, this is Yoshi. This is another Spider Farmer uh, SF600 LED Grow Light update. Um, video number, I forgot what it was. <laughs> I'll look up the number. But anyhow, why don't we start with this one? This is a uh, Pink Quirilia uh, Gigantia. Uh, it's not stop blooming actually kind of fuzzy petals and pretty cute just in case you've never seen the bloom that's another reason why people like uh, pink cuillas uh, growing them uh, needs a really really good light sunlight is okay too uh, but those guys unlike uh, sarcinias or venus flytraps they will also live just fine under grow lights or a uh, good level of light too. Anyhow, um, this, uh, I reported it, but also have one, two pups. So it's really like in the situation here. So uh, it's, uh, because of the light also too so that's a uh, one credit on spider farmer um and aside uh, let's see this one lady uh lady uh ends i never can remember the id the only one rupiculus lady with the id look at the uh roots growth right here it's going really really well uh, hoping to see uh, new growth some somewhere and uh, hoping to see uh, bloom finally well I lied there's another one with the ID this came from Olympic orchids this one's also doing really well with the new roots more new roots so I'm hoping to see uh, something sheath or something coming out of this one this one, I thought it would have a sheath, but this growth didn't have it yet, or will not have it. I don't know. Uh, and this one, I don't know. I think it's something to do with the plant. It's not doing really well. This one though, it looks pretty healthy. Look at this uh, newest growth. I was hoping to see a sheath also, but it was before I changed the uh, light so you know what to do as long as it's doing really well looks pretty good uh, it's not as big as the other three pseudobulbs though but it's pretty plumped up uh, uh, with the new and better roots came off of uh, the mother plants and uh, actual newest growth and I think there is another pseudobulb here it's kind of hard to tell but so that's gonna create more roots so I'm hoping for the best towards next season again lighting is something important but it's not like something you can see the uh, change right away so it's kind of hard to tell um, and those are guys that I'm looking forward to the blooms I am really giving it a dry rest unlike any other years and then also providing it a better lighting with this so so as this one Dendrobium aggregatum oh this one is a Jenkinsii this is aggregatum aggregatum is a better version no I'm sorry not a better version a bigger version also giving it a dry rest with the uh, better lighting I spray occasionally like really really a bit the spike on this dendrobium antenatum is developing no uh, spike uh, blast the one in the greenhouse I don't know what it's doing it's not really doing well and so was a uh, uh, tangerinum. Uh, they just oh, that's my coffee. 
I'll be right back. Okay, the coffee is good. Coffee is good. Anyhow, so where was I? So the dendrobium, don't dendrobium antenatum. I'm still doing the thing, which is I'm happy compared to the ones in greenhouse. Uh, apple blossom, doing really well. More roots. Hoping for the best for next season. And then also this one is uh, actually usually getting is right there so get better lighting which is hard to get to when i'm filming so i changed the position there but now it is back to where it was doing really well as you can tell there's those things coming out um still not sure what it is uh, looking like a spike but it also look also looks like a uh cakey i'm not really sure but either way the clear thing is it's doing something which is uh pretty happy because uh i killed one earlier this year ah uh, it's almost end of the year isn't it it's so crazy uh the cutting from uh, nicole diana uh, hoya kumingiana uh, rooted very very quickly um believe it's because of the light too Look at that, and it's gonna get better on this. Uh, I am, I like to root a lot before I pot it up, so yeah. And uh, here's a Lelia, Catlia, Lelia Lundia, growing really well under good light here. And there's a uh, uh, Catlia Vark species, doing pretty much the same. The unfortunate event happened and took the root tips but i'm hoping to either branch out i don't know if it's a kind of a ones that branch out or uh, more new roots coming but after all it's pretty stiff the leaves are um doing okay it does look a little dehydrated but what can i do i've been spraying every day so we'll see we'll see Whereas uh, Mesistoglossum though, it does look dehydrated, which is a little concerning, but the roots are doing okay. So I'm still hoping for the best. Being a uh, uh, bifoliate, maybe, uh, maybe it wouldn't just make it or something, I don't know. But yeah, I just sprayed too. Hoping for the best from this guy. I really wanted that Mrs. to Glossom for a long time. So, we'll see, we'll see. But this uh, cat Maxima uh, Alba though is doing well. I kept the uh, um, Paprata Roxo Cross, uh, where uh, I can never pronounce this. Very Hauser is doing really well. Um, the new growth is, I mean, the new uh, roots are doing well. Catlia small, uh, summer spots cross uh, Brassabol and Nodosa. Uh, Michael McCarthy told me, ID to me, for me. It's a VC Walter August, apparently. So it's uh, doing well. Almost open up the buds here. And, uh, I think, oh yeah, there's a newcomer here. Um, this has been my no ID for a while. Uh, this came with it and I knew the ID, <laughs> but I forgot because it just won out. That's uh, another reason why you don't want the uh, Sharpie to to uh, put your name, put the names on the tag. It just uh, uh, discate and you will lose the ID. Uh, as soon as I find my pencil, uh, I'm gonna put the right uh, tag with the pencil on it. Uh, pencils don't go away, so that's usually my go-to. Anyhow, I found it in the greenhouse, uh, kinda hidden, tucked away, but it's still trying to root out, so I decided to bring it in, have a better care, probably, if I see it all the time. 
giving it a little more moisture like that. So uh, that would be the another additions here for now. So uh, anyways, that is it. And uh, hope to see you guys next week. Thank you for watching. Bye.